Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Nilaus and I will be your Viking guide today and uh, in a lot of future episodes as long as there is an interest for me to continue. I am uh, remembering I'm streaming this also on Twitch so you'll see a lot of the progress on Twitch, some off camera and of course the summaries here in YouTube episodes. Today in this episode, well you can see we are just enjoying our little brew pub that we built yesterday. We got lots of money, we're gonna spend some of that today and Yuletide has, uh, has come to our Viking Wonderland. And today is objective is we are going to be hunt for the elder Santa Claus somewhere in the, in the black forest. And what we're going to do is we're going to be find him. We'll be looking for the merchant as well, and then we'll be preparing to head into the swamp. So that is basically the conclusion of the black forest area as we transition towards the next. So what is the first thing we want to do? Well, we need to get up. We need to stop drinking. That is a, a, a good start. So throw that cup away. We are. We got more important things to do. Well, uh, as you prepare and you make sure that everything is uh, fully repaired, there we go. And then we need to look at a few things. Look and see, I'm starting to work on the next project. That will be a portal room. And you can come uh, join as we build this during our next Twitch stream, which will be, if you're watching this, watching this immediately, will be tonight. Look at these fishies, they're weird. Oh, we can, oh wow, we can actually pick up the fish now. I guess there's a new version, nice. Uh, don't think I want to carry the fish with me. That's interesting. This is an interesting way to catch fish. Never mind. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to build a boat because we're going to sail out into the wondrous, uh, wondrous world. So we'll be uh, making a boat. And what we're going to do is here. So we have this calf because uh, you can see I'm also equipped in copper gear because last time we found some copper. And then, of course, it's a good time for us to actually use the copper to build some good equipment. We are going to sail out. In the burial chambers we've been clearing, we saw the location of the Elder, and if you wanted to sail there, then jump on into a carve. They're not that expensive, but let's uh, jump on in and sail over there. One thing that's really important about the uh, the Elder is that, in my experience, and it's not a 100% experience, but um, the merchant is nearby, can spawn nearby the Elder, and the first of the possible locations you find where the merchant can spawn is where they spawn, so there'll only be one. But there are multiple spawn locations. But if you find it, if you go to this elder, then there's a likely chance that you'll find it at this location. So let's uh, sail on over. And uh, as we sail, well, uh, you can uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, of course, if you uh, want to do that. I really appreciate it. And uh, this is kind of how I see if there is an interest for me to continue. Of course, a big part of it is also, am I interested in actually playing it? And I absolutely am. So uh, whether it will continue on YouTube or on Twitch only, it's up to us all. Now, let's uh, see to them as we make landfall on uh, the correct location. And we're now about to make landfall here on this uh, island. We can see on the minimap, uh, we can see that uh, we have the merchant as well. So let's find a good location to land our ship in the safest possible manner. And as always with these kind of things, it's... Uh, I, I really dislike that you can't deconstruct your ship, but you have to destroy it and pick up the goodies uh, that it drops. Oh, okay, hello. Um, I guess we... Oh, that's out. That hurts. Okay, well, um, I guess that's something we have to... Uh... Ow! That hurt. Crap. Hmm, maybe we'll take this one with bows. Ooh, goodies. Uh, I want to take it, but this guy has a club and they hurt. Ow, that hurts even more. Now I'm at 80 points. That's kind of not cool. I'll just go in here. Wow, I did not uh, foresee that. Okay, well, um, I guess we need bed more food here so that it uh, recovers a bit. And as we recover, then I have to remember this part. No, I rolled out. I did not intend to do that. I go in again. <laughs> we go in here. We, we just stay in here. This is safer. All right. Let me just heal up. And uh, once we heal up, we can uh, go out and deal with that damn troll. That's a good snipe. Roll it out. The backhand. Parry that. Roll through that one. Carry that. Roll. Carry. There you go. 
right so just take it nice and quiet and it's pretty good uh, pretty easy with this setup all right the very first thing you have to do when you get to a new location like this is um well in our case we really want to oh we can't even take those yeah what is really important is you need to find a uh, or build a portal so what are we going to do is we're going to be running up here hope that there are no more trolls build a portal of safety uh, at the merchant since the merchant is pretty close i don't want to build any other ones i just built one up here with the come on go up the uh, stupid hill yeah we're wet we're not rested we need to get the hell out of here uh, so what we need to do is we need to build a portal here let's build a portal that's not a portal this is a portal you need to bring stuff for the portal with you and of course if you have been smart then you have already made a portal at home and call it merchant so that you can go home and take it and let's there so now we have one that's called merchant we can go through it and we can be home safe we can rest we can sell our stuff we can bring all the stuff back we can take the troll hide as well uh, all the stuff we got from the burial chamber where i had to sort of go to heal up that's awesome let's uh, rest up and get back into the mix and i think we're ready to head back out i have built one here for the elder so we can uh, have that ready but we are gonna go head back to the merchant uh before you go this through this portal there are a few things that you should make as uh, i will just explain <laughs> Uh, if we see here, we want to have the fire arrows uh, for sure, and we want to make sure that we can build another portal. When we go into here, hello there. Uh, now, the thing is, I have already been here, so what you need to do is uh, you want to buy the Dverger circlet and you want to buy the Meganyord. Those are the most important things. Ooh, we can also buy a Thunderstone. Oh, I think I don't want one of those. Uh, they're needed. I don't think I can do that. I think that's an iron thing. And we can buy a Yule hat if we feel so inclined as well. So this is where you use all of the money you've been uh, collecting from trolls and from uh, the burial chambers. Uh, definitely get those two things. The Virgo circlet gives you a nice cone of light, which is super nice, especially when you're making YouTube videos if you are there. But if you see 29 versus... These are fully upgraded at this point. Oh, what? 39? Oh yeah, 39 versus 29. So we lose 20% of our, 25% of our hit points. That's uh, pretty, quite a lot. Um, and the other one is the Megan Yard. It takes one inventory slot. So you can see we don't really have a lot of inventory slots when running around like it is here. But it gives us a plus 150 carrying capacity, which is super nice for, well, carrying stuff. Uh, so you kind of start trading off inventory space for uh, buffs and, well... I think it's worth it, and unfortunately we can't carry much, but we uh, we don't need to carry that much. And as long as we, uh, even if we start mining, then we absolutely need the Megan Yard out here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to head out and see if we can find the secret hideout of uh, Santa. And if we find it, then oh boy, will we uh, start a fight with him. And we see it here, the secret hideout of our secret Santa. Look at that, all those Christmas trees. That must be the right place that he is hiding. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to be finding some random location. This seems like a good enough random location. It has to be like a certain distance away so we don't get uh, overwhelmed. And what we need to do is... Are you kidding me? Did I, for... Did I lose my hammer? And a new hammer. And use it for building. What are we going to build? We're going to build one of these. Here. And then we're going to build a... That one. And then I'm going to deal with my uh, friendly neighbor. Oh, wow. Let's get the shield up as well. Oh, I don't have any hit points. That's funny. Level 2 growth. Uh, more? Yeah, more. These are not dangerous in any way, shape, or form, no matter how. Right, so we have our stuff ready, and uh, we're ready for the boss, except we don't have the stuff to summon. Uh, now, I would also recommend that you get the Megan Yard, uh, the, no, not the, this, the minor healing mead and stamina mead. Maybe just primarily actually stamina mead, because you're going to be running around and shooting with a bow primarily for this fight. And we are now ready. We're switching to the bow. We have our fire arrows ready. We have fully geared up. I have focused on stamina. As you can see, 157 stamina. I have the carrot soup. I have the... Uh, board jerky and we have the queen's gem so that is really focused on heavily on uh, stamina because we don't expect to get hit and uh, we do expect to just run around in uh, just casually and we need three of these ancient seeds you get the ancient seeds from the 
Great Dwarf Summoning Stones or from the, the, the big elite ones. And we'll need to put it up here. And let's go. Wish me luck. Here we go. What a sight. We're just going to let it summon. There we go. How about that? Alright, well, let's uh, start killing him. And, you know, let's get the UI up and running. Uh, let's get the UI back. How did I get the UI back? How was, what is it? Shit, I can't remember. I can't remember how to get the UI back. There we go. Oh, I, get, I got it. <laughs> Alright, so, only two attacks. That one, where you have to hide behind the pillar. And those uh, those things that are uh, just not very... Uh, and you can just stand here. I don't know why you're attacking that way. And basically then what you do is... Okay, it summons stuff around us. We are just going to be running around from it. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And then you'll do the AOE thing. We can use that opportunity to charge our bow. And then uh, get a good shot in. Or two. And then get back in here. Charge the bow. Step out, shoot, and rinse and repeat. It is, as always with these fights, they are pretty damn simple. If you, once you figure out how to do it. I'm sure you could also melee him, but I mean, why would you if this is so damn easy? Okay, and that's a summoning. Uh, that actually looks like it's mainly summoning over here. That's kind of not okay. Let's stay hidden behind this one. These hurt like hell, so don't get hit by them. Very simple. And they always just last a little bit longer than, than it seems. Charge up the bow. Step out, shoot, and a summon again. At some point they will also summon some, uh, some other enemies. Or he'll get into close combat, which then gets a bit more dangerous. If he gets a bit close. Right now, we'll, he's happy to stay at a distance. Maybe it's actually the uh, the Christmas trees that he... Uh, ah, that's close. Uh, the Christmas trees are maybe blocking his path. Well, if that's the case, then you just got a new uh, a hint of what to do, <laughs> I guess. That's summoning. Let's run away. Uh, we're actually running too close to him here. Probably not a good idea to be at this point. I think he might be kind of stuck. I don't know why he's attacking over there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, definitely step out. Alright, so we're about halfway through this. And that's the summoning. So let's go away from these. Oops, those roots. Don't want to be hit by them. And here comes the spam. Oof. And these are luckily indestructible. I don't know if you could build a base here probably could and use those for uh, for for just uh, stability I don't know well this is uh, just uh, rinse and repeat I guess and so we're nearing the end here and uh, it has been a very un anticlimactic boss fight to be perfectly honest uh, I don't know if it, how much of it was because he got he kind of got stuck here, but it's a super easy fight anyway. If he gets close, you just run away. You can use the Ike there, uh, boss, uh, to uh, to kill, and then we get the Elder Trophy. That is excellent. Did we get anything else? Oh, yeah, we also got a Swamp Key. Nice. And there we go. So we got that, and uh, we are now ready to uh, to go on to the next part. Goodbye, Santa Claus or Father Christmas or the Elder whatever you want to call it. and he was kind enough to leave us some a bit of loot this is as much as we can expect to get of loot in uh, in valheim is maybe having chopped down a few trees for us lovely right so we jump back to our portal and the only thing we need now is uh, actually uh, we need to get the buff and then we need to prepare for going into the swamp and we're now back here at the stone and there we go. And Lee will need to figure out which one of this it is not that one yet, but maybe here. Ta da! The trophy and faster woodcutting. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, the Elder. But we actually like this one. But we can get this one. That's two. So now it's onwards to Bone Mass. Uh, it's going to take a while to get there, but it'll be uh, the next challenge.
And now we're ready to head to the swamp. The short answer to that is that we will need to sail out. But uh, as you sail out, that's going to be one of the things we'll do next time is getting started on the swamp area, getting some of the first iron uh, smelted and get that started. But uh, I think we're now ready to, or completed the black forest area. We have everything. You can get some more upgrades. I would recommend getting full upgrade upgrades to bronze uh, before getting uh, going into the next area because, well, it's, yeah. You really need everything upgraded. It's just going to make the transition into the next zone much easier. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Of course, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more uh, Valheim content. And if you want to see more soon, then uh, come on over to Twitch, Twitch TV slash Nilaus. I'm streaming this tonight and uh, several times next week. So uh, come on over and uh, have fun in our Valheim journeys. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.